it's bigger on the inside. Oh yeah, just a quarter of Candlelight funding. A little like an enchanted magic box. Whoa, hey, are you alright? No, 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 no magic. I can't. What's this? No, honey, I'm home? Doctor, I'm disappointed in you. Shut up, Jack. Now's not the time. Whoa. First you bring a baby, now a woman? I'm not ready for all these changes, Doc. Cut it out. Hey, Jack. That brown pony looks pretty good, don't she? I am Jack. Hi. I'm gonna throw up on you. What? Did you have a lab party without me, too? Ugh. No motion sickness. But we're not even moving. Don't care. Ma magic. Oh, no worries. It's not magic. It's a time machine. Jack! W what? What What does he mean by time, time machine? Well, exactly what it sounds like. Time and relative dimension in space, otherwise known as TARDIS. It'll take you anywhere and any time in the universe. Uh, any anywhere at any time? Yep, intergalactic parties, 24-7 rays, dimensions made out entirely out of shrimp, you name it. Can I go back and prevent someone from dying? I'm sorry, we can't change the fact that they died. The only thing we can do is change the circumstances, like grant a final wish. The only regret she had in life was dying before she could see her daughter go up. I'm sorry for your loss. I know how it is to lose someone important to you. It never gets easier losing the people important to you. But you have to keep your head held up and looking to the future. It's what they would want. Thanks. Let's just focus on getting the baby to a good home, okay? Okay. Well, prepare for takeoff. Yes, yes, big new sounds. You're an adventurer. I like that. Look at you go. You're natural. Oncoming lightning, that's what they'll call you. How did you know his name? I don't think any pony told you. Uh, uh, oh, uh, well, he, he just seems to have an electrical personality, that's all. You're really natural at this. Do you have kids of your own? W well, no. I ha I've been a father in the past, though. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm sorry. We're here. Hey, Twilight, I know the doctor can't have kids, but would you want to have a kid with him? Wait, what? Well, yes, I've seen what a great job you've done raising Spike. I, I know it would put Skittle at ease knowing her son is with someone that she knows and trusts. Doctor, are you crazy? He wouldn't be in any direct danger, but I am. All the victims so far have been unicorns. I can't ignore the possibility of my being a potential target. What would happen to him then? Murders? A target. Victims. You... You said this would be a safe home! What? I... It is. A murderer does not make a safe home for a child, doctor! Have you lost your mind? I just... I just had to get this child away from a home that I did not deem worthy of being a good home. And now you expect me to give it to a home that is unsafe? This child means everything to Scootaloo. Everything. I can't just give it to a home that might get it killed. If anything happens to the baby, I couldn't live with myself. What were you thinking? Are you really this irresponsible? After all the help you've done to put the baby into a dangerous home? Aren't you... 
Aren't you a good pony who came to help us? Who'd saved Scootaloo and said you would give her child a good home? Aren't you? Yes, I am. This is a good home, and I can promise that. Do you know why? Because I'll be protecting it with absolutely everything I've got. I've dealt with far worse than this. Beyond anything you could imagine. And if I can't even protect the only things I care about, then what would I be? Twilight means everything to me, and I can't always be there for her even though she's lonely. But that doesn't mean I can't keep her or the things she cares about safe. We've lost those who are precious to us. You want to hold on to what's left for their sakes, don't you? You would do anything to keep those things safe. Absolutely anything to make the world good for them. Well, that's my whole life. That's me carrying the dreams of so many lost lives. And with all of those memories and all of those hopes, I will protect them. Sandy, please let Scootaloo know that Lightning Blitz is safe, and that she is welcome here any time. He should always know that he has two mommies who both love him very much. I see. This really will be a good home, and I'll let Scootaloo know. Then, I guess there's just one thing left for me to do. So, I just choose any door I want? That's right. And once you do, whoever is wearing this locket can pass through into the light. It's a simple transmit system, really. You and Skittle can check in whenever you'd like. Meanwhile, I suppose I'll need to get supplies and make sure those nasty little papers have some difficulties being approved. Amazing. I'm glad I can trust you. I'll do my best. And you continue taking good care of your girl. I will. You really are a good pony, Doctor. Thank you. Finally! So awesome to see you doing some good again, Doctor! Thanks a lot for helping Scoots out today. Doctor, this is fantastic. You're helping people again. Ditsy would be so proud. Bloody brilliant, Doc. You are a good man, Doctor. Doctor, you cannot believe how proud of you we are right now.